Welcome back to daytime. Do you have old beaten up countertops in your home? Well, if you do, give your old countertops a fresh new look with a little help from daytime's decorative artist, Jeff Monsine from Splat Paint. This is a fun project. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. These are some examples of different kind of countertops that you can do with a little bit of help here from Jeff. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to start with an old countertop, let's just say. Maybe an old Formica one that many of us have in our homes. Right, maybe your, cab your countertops are stained or you just don't like the color. Right. And rather than ripping them out, removing all your plumbing, maybe having to take out your backsplash and all that. It's expensive. You, it is, and it's, and it's messy. Yeah. You can paint them. Wow. And this is difficult or relatively easy to do, depending well, on what you're well, doing? Well, there are different low, low, I mean, it can be really easy. You okay. can choose a really simple finish, or you can choose something more complicated. So you can go anyway. All right. Well, tell us what we have to do first for okay. our old countertops. Okay. The first thing is mask off with tape whatever you don't want to put paint on. Gotcha. So Simple. that's pretty easy. So tape it. Right. And um, so this is your countertop right in this area over here, you know, your old countertop. And just to get it prepared, make sure that it's totally degreased. So you can use like TSP or any kind of a degreaser to clean it off, make sure all the old stuff is gone, okay. and lightly sand it just enough to, you know, to, to take some of the shine off. That's all you have to do. Oh, okay. And then the next step is to put a primer on it that's going to stick. Okay, so do you recommend any kind of primer? There are lots of good ones out there. Um, Gripper is one that I've used, XIM. There are, there are a ton of different primers it that are out there. It just has to stick. It has to stick. That's key. Obviously. And you have to let it cure. Oh. So if it says wait a day, wait a day. Okay, maybe even wait two days just to get it. Absolutely. The that's, the most, that's the most important thing because if this doesn't stick to this, then nothing is going to stick. You know? <laughs> right, then your whole job is going to be for not. <laughs> right, exactly. And then once you have the primer on, you can go anywhere you want. All right, let's start with this one then. What did you do here? Okay, this, this is dramatic. Is, this is dramatic. It's fun. This can be used in a bar area, I think. Yeah. And we painted it black first, just rolled on black paint. And then in this particular case, I actually took a sea sponge and some gold size, uh -huh. which is a sticky material, and I just lightly tapped it on top of the black randomly. Gotcha. So okay. you sponge painted it. I sponge painted it. Let that, yeah, and let that, <laughs> let that dry. Yeah, absolutely. Let that um, get tacky. Okay. Okay. It takes about an hour. And then this is um, uh, gold foil, mm -hmm. okay, or metallic foil. And I, you just put it down the shiny side up, which is not what you would expect. Right. You, you would think you'd put that it this at all. way. Yeah. And you take a, a brush, and you just go like this, and you rub it on, and pull it off. And then that's the final look? Just from that? Well, it looks kind of like that, and then I glazed it. Wow. Just to kind of, you know, tone it down a little bit. But there are, there are foils available in every color, holograph, all kinds of different ones. All right, now I'm going to move along. I, I, this I actually had Jeff apply to walls in my house. This is a, another dramatic look. Right. All of these, though, need sealers. That right. is going to be really key if you're going to be doing any cutting or anything Absolutely. On, on top of your countertop. What should we look for in a sealer? Okay. Well, um, you want one that's going to be really, really hard. Yes. And um, tip, for the typical do-it-yourself, you're probably going to put down maybe three coats of a sealer. Put one down, let it dry, put another one, another one, another one. And that's probably the best way to build it up. If you really want to get fancy and you have the ability to use a two-part epoxy, right. which you mix up, you can get a really, really shiny, deep, thick finish, which like is like this, this one over here. This final ca countertop. And it, it looks so rich and cool. Wow, it does look cool. They all look beautiful. And hey, if you have a question for Jeff or you have a project you'd like Jeff to work on, just head to Facebook.com slash Daytime TV Show and submit your ideas. Jeff Munstein, thank you. My pleasure. Daytime, we'll be right back. What a